What is up everyone, team and Nati here, welcoming you back to another video. It's not much, but it's mine. Tonight, we will be talking about what you should know before going to your first ever photo shoot. But before everything else, I would like to invite everyone to please smash the subscribe button and punch that notification bell as it would help make things run a bit smoother around here. Okay, let's go. Alright, so you are a new photographer, you have practiced, you have learned the fundamentals, and you're now ready to take it to the next level. We are now talking to a potential client, you're talking about details, schedules, next steps. I have 5 tips for you guys to help you out in the process during your first shoot. First tip is always prepare a contract. In this contract, you will have the details of the project, the deliverables, what the customer expects from you, what is going to be the cost of the project. Also in this document, you will find the terms and conditions of the project. So once you have that contract made, send it to your clients, have them review it. There's going to be a little bit of back and forth in this contract and it's just part of the process, so this is gonna take maybe a week or a few days before everything is finalized. A contract is important because it is designed to protect you and protect the client throughout the duration of the project. I would also advise for you guys to have a template for the contract so it would be easy to just change the details of the project and you can send it right away to your clients for review. Now I have attached in the link down below a copy of a template that I personally use for my projects. Second tip is always make a storyboard. Now let's say you have a client, they have agreed on the terms, they have signed the contract, both of you have signed the contract, and now you have to prepare for the actual shoot. It's vital to have a storyboard because this is where you and your client will exchange ideas. You can create your own storyboard first or if they have a storyboard, you can discuss it. And having that storyboard would be super important because this is where you get the references or the inspiration to do your project or to do your photo shoot. This is also where you and your client will have to collaborate. So you're going to be meeting maybe once or twice before the actual scheduled photo shoot. And this is where you discuss the vision. This is where you get to combine your ideas and it will be a great exercise for us as beginners because it will make it will help us learn how to interact with different kinds of clients also if you already have that storyboard and you collaborated with your client you have that final storyboard you will have the chance to practice those shots you can study those shots learn how you light them and stuff like that it would be very very important and lastly it would help you not to have the shoot drag longer than it should number three you have to prepare yourself physically as well imagine in studio shoots like what i experienced a few months back you would be standing all the time you will be squatting you will be walking around with carrying that heavy camera with you and it's just very physically taxing to me to do photo shoots studio shoots wedding shoots even product shoots imagine just standing looking down your neck hurts your back hurts your leg hurts I would also advise you guys to eat before the shoot, keep yourself hydrated, don't do anything physically taxing before the shoot because you need to conserve that energy. So all that being said, you have to prepare yourself physically before any shoot. Number four is have someone with you. During photo shoots, there are a lot of things going on around you and it's going to be hard to just focus on taking pictures. So you have to have someone help you out, preferably a friend that he can help you out with your gear, can help you out with the references, just to have that extra eye during that photo shoot. You can show them the pictures. They don't necessarily have to have photography background. Just these people will know what looks nice and you know, just have that extra set of eyes that make sure you are following the references. Someone who can help you out with gear. You don't want to be walking back and forth to your gear bag, to your camera bag to get lenses. So it's wise to have a friend or a companion with you during photo shoots i strongly suggest this during my last shoot having my friend with me really helped out it made it less stressful having that friend around and you can pay them or you can buy that buy them dinner buy them coffee or whatever they prefer and just to show your appreciation for helping you out but you should always remember that this person isn't there to be your slave treat them with respect treat them well don't just order them around to do shit they don't have to be there if they don't want to 
and just treat them with respect treat them like your peer don't treat them like slaves because chances are when they agreed to go with you once they will agree to go with you again and it's nice to have that friend that you brought on the first shoot on that second shoot because they will have that experience with them already so they know what to expect they know how to help you so just make sure you treat everyone with respect and don't treat them like slaves number five is know your gear this is super important because you don't want to over carry or under carry gear when you're going to a photo shoot and no bringing everything in your gear closet does not mean you are prepared being prepared means that you did your research you looked at the studio beforehand, you looked at the location beforehand to know exactly what kind of gear you need. So for example, you're going to a photo shoot in a studio with your client. It's either you or your client booking that studio. It will be on the contract. Eh? Eh, see, contracts are important. And now that you know what the studio is and where the studio is, you can check it out. You can message them. You can visit them. You can ask them what lights they have, what the kind of strobes they have. Do they have universal triggers for the strobes? Do they have like reflectors and stuff like that? So you can bring whatever they don't have and just leave at home whatever they have. I've made the mistake of bringing my tripods in a studio that already has tripods. I brought lights in a studio that already has lights. And it's just unnecessary gear that you have to carry that you won't be able to use anyway. And also if you're doing on-site shoots with the model, maybe you can ask them where they want the location to be. You can check out the location. You can actually check on your phone what time the sun will set so you're ready for that golden hour shots or what time it would get dark so you know if you have to bring your your speed lights and stuff like that so you are prepared for any situation. And also, if you're going to a shoot in the middle of the day, you can check out the location first so you can see if you have to bring filters, ND filters to help your shots look better. Or if are there any buildings in the location that will probably block the shots, those shots. So you just know what to bring and you just have everything you carry be useful to you and that is being efficient and that is being prepared so there you have it guys five things you should know before going to a photo shoot so just to recap one is always have a contract prepared this will protect you and protect your client as well and this will let them know that you are also interested on their interests or their well-being number two is always prepare a storyboard collaborate with your client know what kind of shots they want so you can practice you can research on how to do those shots and it will make you more efficient during the photo shoot number three is always always prepare yourself physically as well don't do taxing activities before a shoot keep yourself hydrated keep yourself fed make sure you don't go to a photo shoot starving make sure you are physically ready for this very taxing activity number four is always bring a friend bring a companion to a shoot it will help you out it will lessen the stress it will lessen the physical stress mental stress of everything and they will be there also to provide you with moral support to help you out to cheer you on on the sidelines number five is know your gear Make sure you're efficient with your gear. You don't over carry or under carry stuff. Make sure you do your research and make sure that you only bring those things that you need. I hope you all learned something from this video. If you did, please hit the like button, smash the subscribe and punch that notification bell so you're notified every time I have a new video. Thank you so much guys for watching. That's it for me tonight. Peace.